Well, hello, this is Gemonism TV, and today we will go through how you will make your computer or specifically laptop faster by checking some energy settings, or rather, setting some energy settings. Now, down here in the corner, in the right bottom corner, you have your battery icon. Right click on that and, cl and click on energy alternatives. Now, the weird thing is, you could click, left click on it, and you could set this different type of values, you know, best battery, best performance, or better performance, and best performance. However, you can't really easily set these different things, so usually you just have it on the middle, the middle type, better performance. If you close this down, set this to best performance and right click the battery icon and click energy alternatives you still have uh, the scheme chosen for balanced mood which is weird um, so it doesn't seem to be completely connected it's probably a windows um, thing it may be fixed now but anyways uh, the best way to do this so that you don't mess up and just uh, end up getting bad performance is just leave it at better performance and then go into this menu right here and basically click change settings here to the right of the balance you can click the change setting little text and now you can set these things when you want the uh, screen to get closed down and so after a specific type of hours and stuff like that. This is not very relevant for this video. What you want is to go down and here you have the advanced settings. So you will be clicking the advanced settings and uh, well let's take a look at advanced settings. And you can see only balance setting is active, active. So that's weird. Now you basically want to go from top to bottom. Uh, close down hard drive. It doesn't really affect performance very much. You can have that as you want. Internet Explorer. You shouldn't use that. But if you use that, then when you have it, uh, con uh, con when you have it connected to the uh, power outlet you want it to be maximal performance. Here we have uh, the desktop background. It's uh, not so interesting. You don't need to do anything about that. Here we have settings for wireless network. Now you want to make sure that when you're connected to the power outlet you want it to be at high performance. However, if you want your network to be at full speed, full performance, even when you're not connected to the power outlet, you can change the settings to high performance as well. This above is battery. It's basically using battery and this below is using the power outlet. However, I want to keep my batteries a little bit when I don't have it, so I just keep it as the preset because I usually have my power outlet connected when I'm using the computer uh, in my home. Okay so then you have power saving mood. This is completely irrelevant. You can go to USB settings and you can set settings for uh, when it's disconnected and this is not very you know this is not very relevant either. Then we have internal graphic settings. Now I have a Intel R graphics card. And of course, when I go battery, I want maximum battery life, but I want to make sure that it's on maximum performance when I am uh, connected to the uh, power outlet, basically, or the power source. Uh, if you want uh, your computer to really run at high performance all times, remember you can set the battery 
to a high performance as well, but remember this will significantly decrease your battery lifetime. Or not the lifetime of the battery, but the recharge lifetime. You'll need to recharge your computer much uh, faster. It will also decrease your battery lifetime a little bit actually, but yeah. Anyways, this uh, when you close the lid isn't very relevant, so we just jump that. Then we have PCI Express energy uh, saving functions for link status. And uh, well, I will not use uh, this, but it can save you some uh, energy. You can have it on maximal save energy if you like to. Now all uh, substances look a bit different, but you want to go through all of them and check so that it's on full system power. It's a full performance when it's connected to the power outlet. You want to check that, yeah. This is the most important setting in this video. This is energy saving functions for the processor. And a processor is very important. So here we have least processor um, condition, which is 5%. You can leave it at that. And we can have a cooling principle for the computer. On battery, we have it on passive, just because we want it to be uh, save some energy. But you can make it active when you have a battery as well. This will make your computer actively cool your processor and not cool it if it's needs, but you know, always cool it nice and cool. Um, and this will help you have a better performance. Here we have maximal processor um, condition. I've set this to 100% on battery as well. This is not by default. But that's because um, my processor is not the fastest and I want to squeeze out all the power even though it might have drawbacks on to power. If the processor is not running, it's not has the capability to run 100%, it means that your computer will be slower. Uh, if that's fine with you, you can save a lot of energy. You can set this to maybe 70 or 50 or something like that. But remember, this will make you not be able to run all things. So I highly recommend you to keep this at 100%. And of course, at when you complete when you're uh, connected to power outlet, it's really important to keep this at 100. It's really good to check these settings. Um, and of course, I already changed my settings. This is not by default. Close uh, the screen after a certain minutes. Uh, that's a setting we have before. And uh, light strings of the that one. Um, and this is not. And this is not really interesting, actually. Not the the screen. This is the screen settings. Not very interesting. Then we have multimedia settings. When media is shared. Um, you can make it go to sleep mode basically. So that's uh, not what we want, but we go down to video playback quality bias. Then you can see here, you need to be able, you can set it to power saving or performance. Of course, you want to have it performance when you're connected to power outlet. Um, and when we play video, you can see we have balanced when we are at uh, um, here at the battery and when we're controlling through the power outlet you know we could optimize energy consumption but we would of course want to optimize video quality and then we have battery here um, so that's not really related to this video but when you made your changes remember my changes are pre-made I already made this so I just go through it so you will of course need to change more and you might have additional settings because your system is different and what you want to do is click maximum performance and this will make your computer one million times faster if it was set in a uh, another way you might get some major improvements um, it's very different from, from system to systems and the age of the computer but this is something re you really want to do. So anyways, um, that's that. 
subscribe to the channel for more tech tutorials remember to click uh, save settings when you changed anything like that and close it down so yeah that's how you can save your laptop some struggles make it much much faster than it was before and even on battery if that's what you wish so anyways i hope you enjoyed this video check the channel for more tech tutorials subscribe for more and please leave a like if this video helped you uh, anyways i'll catch you next time thanks for watching this is jimalism tv signing out